Hello my lovelies and welcome to the Bada Bhaskar. I am so excited to make this video. I remember four years ago, I was actually searching for this exact video when I was interested in skincare. Minimalist had just come up with alpha arbutin, tranexamic acid, stuff like this. And I never found a video on it. So it is actually my honor to be able to make this video for you guys. So of course, I'm going to make this as easy breezy as possible, even for beginners to truly understand what the difference is in the way all of these serums work. So what are these serums? How do they work? Who needs which? I'm going to discuss all of that in this video with you guys. So we're going to start from the absolute scratch. Melanin. What is melanin? So all of these spots over here, these are melanin. Okay, any brown pigment is melanin. Let's say, God forbid, you cut yourself, you have an acne scar left, that pigmentation is melanin. Let's say you've gone into the sun for a long amount of time and there are some sunspots, there are patches of darkness, you've tanned a lot, that brown pigment, melanin. Let's say you have a pimple which comes from most of the time a clogged pore. So now that pore is breaking through the layers of your skin, coming to the surface, which is nothing but damage to the skin which causes melanin. So in other shorter words, any sort of damage to your skin causes this brown pigment called melanin. So your skin is basically made up of multiple kind of skin cells, okay? So the top layers of your skin consist of keratinocytes and just below those, the lower level of cells are melanocytes. So melanocytes create the pigment, which is melanin, and then sends them to the keratinocytes to protect them from further damage. So how does melanin actually get produced? And I'm gonna give you one word you need to hang on to, which is probably the most important word of this entire video. It's nothing but tyrosinase. So tyrosinase is an enzyme, okay? So think of tyrosinase like a factory worker. Okay, I'll actually put a diagram over here for you. So this guy over here is the one that makes the melanin. It takes raw materials from your body, different kinds of raw materials which we'll get into, and it makes melanin. So melanin is actually your body's own way of protecting cells from further damage. Think of it like your body is producing brown jackets that it's gonna cover onto the nucleus of each cell to protect it from further damage. Okay, that's all you need to know. There's nothing else, there's no more complication, nothing. This is the main way that melanin is produced, okay? So we're gonna discuss how kojic acid, alpha arbutin, and tranexamic acid all work and what is the difference in the way they work. So all three of these affect tyrosinase in different ways and I'll explain. So what does kojic acid do? You see those two little plus signs on the tyrosinase? Those are kind of his switches, those are copper ions. Think of it like his electrical power grid, okay? So kojic acid basically hangs on to those earrings. It's like turning them off. It basically binds to the copper ions and it kind of deactivates tyrosinase. And if you deactivate tyrosinase, then melanin cannot be produced. So that's kind of how kojic acid works. Next, if you go into how alpha arbutin works, alpha arbutin is very sly. I want you to think of it like stealth. Tyrosinase needs tyrosine. Okay, think of tyrosine sort of like an energy drink or it's food or it's fuel. So what alpha arbutin does is it pretends to be tyrosine. So basically tyrosinase is just picking up alpha arbutin instead of the actual tyrosine. So in a way, it's like consuming fake food. Alpha arbutin pretends to be the real fuel, which is tyrosine that tyrosinase needs. But instead, tyrosinase is consuming alpha arbutin, which is a fake fuel. So that's how alpha arbutin works. Now, you see that on top of the melanocytes, there are two alarms. These are the alarms that go off whenever there is any damage to your skin. So tranexamic acid's job is to turn off the alarm, which is plasmin. So if the alarms don't go off, tyrosinase is just chilling. He has no idea he's supposed to, you know, make melanin and he's just chilling over there. So in these three simple mechanisms, all three of these inhibit tyrosinase. Now, if you look at it, this is kind of brutal because tyrosinase is only making melanin which is meant to protect your body. If you're going to use all of these serums to try and disable tyrosinase, then you also need to understand protecting your skin is very important because if you're going to take away melanin, then you're also going to take away protection from your skin. So you have to use your caps, your hats, your sunscreens and be extra careful with your skin. Otherwise, not only are you taking away your body's ability to protect itself, you are not protecting it either and that can lead to disastrous consequences. Now, pigmentation in Indian skin is very normal. Okay, we cannot get rid of all pigmentation. That's ridiculous, okay? Now, the sad part is there's actually no harm with melanin. It is just considered aesthetically unappealing. Any sign of 
melanin or patches of dark skin or even a pimple you know these are all signs of damage so they don't aesthetically look good but they're just your body's way of protecting themselves it's also something very natural so you guys know i'm reviewing different pigmentation based sets right and i think one of you had commented saying hey i know you're reviewing all these sets but it's very difficult for us to buy all of these actives okay because i was going in with alpha betaine tranexamic acid vitamin c so i kind of get everything into my routine and it can be unreasonable or expensive to source all of these ingredients and i understand but if you look at some of the commonly prescribed creams okay i'm going to put some of them over here on the screen which dermax prescribe from pharmacies you will see that all of these creams have several ingredients mixed together and most of them are combined with the form of acid because while you get rid of the dead layer of skin on top of you the actives do a better job at penetrating your skin because there's no dead skin blocking them so synergistically together at a very controlled level a tiny tiny bit of acid paired with these actives do a really good job at working together getting rid of that pigmentation so why do you see multiple actives in these creams because as i said each of these acids targets your skin in a different way however all of these can be drying on your skin and if you're somebody who's new to skin care who has sensitive skin it's important to go super slow and only go as far as your skin will tolerate so who does better on each of these actives that entirely depends on you Cochic acid works the strongest however it takes longer time can be more irritating for the skin and is good for stubborn pigmentation Both alpha betaine and tranexamic acid are gentler on the skin and they work slowly but steadily They're great for acne marks however tranexamic acid in particular has been shown to give good results for melasma These two are very safe even for long term use So it does highly depend on each person's individual skin as to which acid they will better react to which of those will help them with pigmentation better. When there are a lot of people who don't want to use all those actives they don't have the time for it they don't have the energy for it they don't want to spend that much and that's completely fine. If you can manage to find the particular acid that works best for you then stick to it and you should see good even toned skin. pretty soon now there is another ingredient called hydroquinone that i see a lot of people abuse hydroquinone is amazing at getting rid of pigmentation but the way it works is it destroys the melanocyte and that is actually very risky for you in the long term use which is why you have to speak to a dermatologist before you introduce hydroquinone to your system the death of melanocytes the toxicity to melanocytes especially with persistent prolonged use can give you disastrous consequences so these are the ways that those three actives target melanin production in your skin So very soon I'm going to release another video about NAD which is N acetyl glucosamine. It's a new pigment fighting um, ingredient that we've we are introducing in skincare. The ordinary uh, Saccharomyces ferment toner uses it. So if you're interested that video will come out soon as well. And I know that I have not been very active on my Instagram when it comes to posting um, at least about skincare. So I am planning to start a new skincare page just for Instagram. So yeah. So if you found this video helpful please hit that like share and subscribe button. You can also follow me on Instagram at And until we meet next time, lots of love. Stay healthy. Stay hydrated.